This is Our Lives. I'm Gwen Edwards. In the rush to find a cure for COVID, are we overlooking a possible more natural cure like vitamin D? Dr. Leslie Ray Matthews joins me now. And thank you so much, Dr. Matthews, for being on Our Lives. And you say massive high doses of vitamin D could really help in this fight. Uh, yes, it could. Thank you for having me. Vitamin D, first of all, is a hormone. It's not a vitamin. It was discovered 100 years ago, and they had vitamin A, B, and C, and they just named the next substance that they found vitamin D. So what hormone D does, a hormone is a substance that interacts in your blood system, and it affects multiple systems in your body. One of the most important effects of vitamin D, other than bones, making your bones strong, is it strengthens your immune system or it increases your white blood cell count. There are 30,000 genes in the human body. Vitamin D controls 3,000 out of those 30,000 genes or 10% of your DNA gene expression. So imagine if you learn how to manipulate that or you understand the biochemistry of hormone D, imagine the many different things you can do. So as a trauma critical care surgeon, two things that surgeons face or two things that cause surgeons problems are beating, clotting problems and infections. So we have to become experts in infections. So hormone D is relatively cheap. You can go to Walmart or anywhere else and buy it, $15, $20. So what it does is it increases a white blood cell count. Um, in, in science, we have a thing, it's called a CD4 cell, which is just a fancy term for white blood cells. So white blood cells is what basically fight the bacteria, the virus, the fungus, and the parasitic infection, and it does cancer surveillance also. So if you increase your white blood cell count and have a strong immune system, you can basically fight off anything. What research do you have to back that up? Well, level one trauma center, one of the busiest ones in the country. So we had a lot of experience with a lot of patients uh, working with vitamin D. So I researched vitamin D over the last 15 years. Why do you believe the majority community in the medical field does not embrace this as a natural remedy to COVID? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. First of all, in medicine, anything that you come out with is novel, new, even if it's 100% true, it takes an average of 13 years for something to become the standard of care in medicine. So we have a saying, the only people that like changes are babies and still like their diapers change and stuff. So even when it's 100% true, like I said, doctors take an average of 13 years. And secondly, biochemistry is one of the hardest courses in medical school. And that's... Uh, uh, I was a chemistry biochem expert, so I understand things from a chemical level. So I view, view the body as a big chemical factory. All right. Well, Dr. Matthews, thank you very much for bringing this to light. Uh -huh.